Ah, life without escalators. Boy, that'd be a drag. Only a pro athlete could climb all those steps without losing their breath. But hey, how does an escalator work? And why are those steps so steep anyway? Well, hop on board! We'll get there in time! Our story begins in the 1890s, the early days of Coca-Cola, Hershey's Chocolate, and motion pictures. A strange contraption is being built at New York's Coney Island Park. The thing travels along a 25-degree incline and only goes up 7 feet. Yet spectators back then were amazed and slightly nauseated by the futuristic moving stairs. It was the world's first escalator, and it was just a temporary amusement park attraction. Fast forward to the modern escalator. Let's open it up and see how it all works. An escalator is simply two chains going in circles. Two pairs of huge gears connected to an electric motor drive this endless loop. The chains, guide rails, and motor are inside a sturdy metal frame called a truss that extends between floors. Each escalator also features a handrail driven by the same motor. Why it often goes faster than the steps, well, we'll get there. Each step of the escalator has two wheels on both sides. The upper pair is pulled by a chain and rolls along the guide rails. The second pair is there so the steps remain level all the time. Once a step goes to the top or bottom of the escalator, it flips over and continues its way upside down. But you don't see it. That's all happening right under your feet. So technically, while riding on the escalator, we stand both on the outside and the inside at the same time. Maybe in a parallel universe, another you is traveling just beneath you. How did the escalator get its name? Well, more than a century ago, the company Otis registered the escalator trademark. It combines the Latin word scala, meaning stairway, and elevator. The word escalator was used to designate the brand, but it became so famous that it started to mean the mechanism itself. Kind of like how we call all adhesive bandages band-aids. An escalator is just a variation of the conveyor belt you see on a treadmill or at the grocery store. Yeah, the escalator takes people up or down, and the belt at the checkout moves products toward the cashier. But they work on the same principle. Ski resorts also use this system to take skiers up to the top of the slope. Wahoo! Escalators differ in length and width and can work alongside each other or in a crisscross pattern. There are also spiral escalators that save space. Engineer Jack Levy went even further in 2010. He came up with a wavy-shaped escalator that can turn corners. His so-called levitator remains unrealized, though. Escalators rarely change their speed. If they did, it'd be hard for passengers to keep their balance. But they usually go about 1 to 2 miles per hour, depending on the machine's purpose. Subway escalators are typically faster than the ones at the mall. The reason? Well, when you're in the subway, your only interest is getting from A to B as fast as possible. In the malls, most people want time to look around and relax. Escalators can be a huge waste of energy when nobody uses them. That's why on-demand types appeared. They have motion sensors and run when someone steps on them. Some of these eco-friendly machines even weigh passengers and lower the speed when the belt isn't so busy. All escalators have an emergency stop button on the upper and lower platforms. If you push it, don't expect a domino effect or anything. The escalator will come to a stop slowly, giving passengers enough time to grab the handrails for balance. Escalator steps have a higher rise than an ordinary staircase because they're not meant to be walked on. That's why it's so exhausting to go up the escalator when it's not working. The second reason it takes so much effort to go up is psychological. You expect the steps to move, and it's hard for your brain to realize they're not. Now, escalators might not be meant to walk on, but there is an unspoken rule if you decide to. Stand on the right, walk on the left. Same thing on the roads. Slow drivers stick to the right lane, and the fast lane is on the left. But this common practice isn't the most efficient way to use escalators. Studies show that more people can get to where they're going much faster if everyone stands. But even knowing that, it isn't easy to train people to stand on both sides because we're so used to the stand here, walk here rule. As you're standing there, you probably notice that the escalator handrail often moves faster than the steps. 
This happens when the rollers turning the handrail are new. They're made 2% larger to prevent wearing them down too fast. If a handrail moves at the same speed as the steps, it means the escalator is already halfway through its service life. And if your hand slowly starts falling behind the rest of you, well, the one you're riding on is pretty old. And those brushes on the side aren't there to clean your shoes. They're supposed to encourage passengers to move away from the edges of the steps. If the bristles touch your leg, it lets you know you're standing too close to the gap between the stairs and the wall. Keeping a safe distance means your shoelaces or loose hanging clothes won't get pulled into it. Now, beside the bristles, the bright yellow lines mark the edges of these steps too. So when you're riding on an escalator, stay within these bright borders. They also visually divide one step from another. So if you're walking up or down them, you won't miss a step and go tumbling. There's also a reason for those grooves in the steps. Say you dropped your pen on the escalator without noticing it. When the pen reaches the top or bottom of the stairs, it won't get stuck. These grooves go through the teeth of the comb plate that pushes the objects out. Grooves won't let your feet get trapped between the steps and the platform either. Ooh, that's a good thing. A moving sidewalk is a cool, futuristic variation of an escalator, but it's just as old. The first ever built is also the longest. It was made for the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. The walkway was divided into two sections, so passengers could both sit and stand while riding on it. It was more than half a mile long and still holds the Guinness record. Imagine riding on an escalator through water full of sharks. You can do just that in Taiwan's Holly and Far Glory Ocean Park. This amazing escalator goes up and down through an aquarium, so visitors have enough time to admire all kinds of colorful and intimidating sea creatures. The longest single-span escalators are in St. Petersburg and Moscow. Each of them reaches up to 426 feet in length, about the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The longest system is the Central Mid-Levels Escalator in Hong Kong. It includes 18 escalators and three moving walkways that all cover 2,600 feet. It takes about 20 minutes to make the whole route, so people often walk on the moving escalator to save time. The giant escalator in Medellin, Colombia is designed to save the residents' time. It reduces the journey through the hilly area from 35 to 6 minutes. Without it, people would have to climb the equivalent of 28 floors. The highest functioning escalator in the world is in Osaka, Japan. It connects the two parts of the huge Umeda Sky Building. The escalator is inside an enormous glass tunnel, 550 feet off the ground, as high as the Washington Monument. Imagine what kind of view passengers get while moving from one building to another. While we're in Japan, let's ride the world's shortest escalator. It's in a mall in Kawasaki. This record-holding machine is less than 3 feet high and has just 5 steps. The oldest operating escalator is in the Macy's Herald Square shopping mall in New York. It was built about 100 years ago. The mechanical parts of this historic escalator have been updated, but its wooden walls and steps have remained intact this whole time. Finally, there are also bike escalators. They have one in Trondheim, Norway, to take cyclists up a steep hill. You just place one foot on the platform, and the escalator pushes you to the top at a comfortable speed. Yes, even escalators have their ups and downs.